Hello, I'm Andrew Leverett. Today we will be talking about how a small change in choosing your low side drivers can make a big impact on the system's power dissipation. Whenever designers need to control a high voltage peripheral using a microcontroller, it is common practice to use a Darrington pair or a Darrington pair array. This allows the MCU to interface to devices with higher power demands like motors, relays, and LEDs. Unfortunately, this Darlington implementation adds a 700 millivolt offset to the low level output voltage or VOL, significantly increasing the dissipated power as shown on this power equation. It is common practice to use a seven channel array of the Darlington transistors to drive multiple peripherals. As you can see from this example, in order to stay within a power budget of 250 milliwatts, this 250 milliamp rated DC motor must be split between two channels. So, how can we reduce the power dissipation without making too many changes to our existing circuit? One suitable solution is to use an NMOS transistor as the low side driver instead of the Darrington pair. By using an NMOS, we can now see the output low level voltage or VOL reduce. This is because the NMOS's VOL is directly proportional to output current and has no 700 millivolt offset, as shown in this equation. TI's newest peripheral driver, the TPL7407L, is a 7-channel NMOS low-side driver that addresses this design challenge. As you can see, it can drive the motor with only one channel and dissipate half of the power as the Darlington implementation. In fact, this device can be used as a drop-in replacement for most of the solutions available today. Along with significant power dissipation savings, it also offers greater than 100x reduction in output leakage current and can interface with 1.8 volt GPIO. To learn more about peripheral drivers and the benefits of using the TPL7407L, go to ti.com.